today than it's ever been. It's because the toleration, the acceptance, and the promoting of wickedness and evil and I'm going to blame everybody else. It's not my fault. That's why we have the society that we have today. And it's why they hate this book, and it's why they rewrite this book, and it's why they change this book, and why they take that stuff out that I just read you out of Proverbs here in the fake Bibles. Oh, what a horrible, terrible thing it is. Okay. Until somebody, you know, gets mad on, at you driving out there and cuts you off and comes out and blows your brains out, right? Happens all the time, every day. You know, all you got to do is look at the behavior that has become so common in our society today to see the truth behind what's spoken here. Okay, Rod should be for a fool's back. No. Now we got fools sitting in the White House. <laughs> fools as leaders in every segment of our society today. You know, people, as Job said, that I would have been to have uh, uh, sat with my dogs. Now are the folks that are running stuff. They're the folks that make jokes about this thing and hate this thing and make jokes about us and hate us. You know, like I said. Uh, I got a long, long memory. You know, and I remember well that little piece of uh, legislation uh, that uh, Janet Reno, the Attorney General, brought out in the 1980s saying folks like us, those Bible believing Christians who believe in the second coming of Jesus Christ and the millennial reign, okay, are domestic terrorists. That stands. To today, folks. That's there in their playbook. <laughs> They're just waiting for the right time. And I, I Brother Larry Eaton put up a little post that he can't he put this up before, and I, I made sure I repeated it up there. But it's a, a quote from an individual saying, you know, that you know, we are the, the first and finally the first nation now to have you know, full registration of all firearms in our country and how this is going to reduce our crime rate, you know, and make us a model for the world and for peace. You want to know when that was written? 1935. You want to quote it? Adolf Hitler. That's, if you learn a little history, you understand why. All right, we're going to stop there for this morning. Anybody have any questions for me on the lesson? Proverbs 10, verses 12 and 13. Any questions, comments? All right, we'll stop there then for this morning.